What is up, everyone? Welcome to Halo Fridays. Yes, I'm doing Halo Combat Evolved for the PC. Kind of hold it over before I got my HD PVR2 to record PS3 gameplay or whatever I happen to run by. But anyways, we got a little change up, something different than Pokemon. So uh, I had this for a while now. I must say I am a complete beast at this game. I must. This is actually rather one of my sort of bad games, but. This is a modded server, you can make them at some kind of website, you can't really make them in-game, you can make your own servers, but this is a zombie server where we're pretty much just playing survival, um, it's an actual game type in the newer uh, Halo games, so it's pretty much infection, I only play in this one server though because if you die and become a zombie, you obviously get you obviously get speed, which is in most infection game types. But in this game, for the last man standing, you get that speed, which is really fun. Makes you survive longer than other zombie uh, servers, and there are plenty of them. And this one's always full, which is why um, it's kind of hard to get into. But since I'm only going to rec uh, be recording this once a week, it should be really easy. So basically, um, this map is called Danger Canyon, and I'm pretty sure matches are around 20 to 25 minutes long. It is very unlikely that a match will carry out that long, so... Um, basically, this Danger Canyon map, everyone just usually goes through those tunnels, uh, and there's a spawn point, I sort of started it kind of late, so, I mean, there's not any action at all in the beginning, it takes about 10 minutes for anything to escalate, so I pretty much just took it from where things start to escalate. Now, this map is just so big, I mean, it's really not that big when you look at it, but when you're down there, um, we're obviously up here, but when you're down there, it's pretty big, and this is probably my best map, I must say. I mean, I really do get the best finishing results. I usually average a finish of either 5th or better, but I think I got the last man standing around probably 10 to 15 times, and I think three of them were at this map, so that's probably tied with another map called Chill Out, and that's a really nice map, too. Um... Of course, if you guys are Halo fans, you know about the map Blood Gulch. I'm trying to get a video in there, but I usually actually don't do good at Blood Gulch. It's one of my favorite maps to play it, but I don't do good at it, so... Uh, yeah. Basically, we're just waiting for people to come by. We're sort of just chilling around and, you know, just having fun for now. I mean, usually, I'm really good with pistols. I'm good at shooting zombies. Um, I know the sort of... I don't really know it exactly, but I know a lot about it, though. And basically... Um, it's the speed of the bullets are not as fast as a sniper, so with a sniper you're hitting people dead on, you know, on their body, but with a pistol, when you're across distance like this, you're gonna try to hit a little farther than they actually are. Depends on where they are, if they're in front of you, like right in front of you, obviously, if they're going sideways, you would obviously hit them right in their body, but when they're farther distance like that, across that uh, region, oh, yeah, we got a little action over here, but when they're all the way over at that little, um, little crossway all the way over there, you want to kind of hit it farther than them, so the bullets, as they're going forward, because these zombies are fast, uh, you hit it forward, they run into the bullets, and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, obviously it didn't work as much as it did in other times, that's why I say this is definitely one of my worst zombie uh, games, but I'm still in there though, we got about half the crowd, zombies, half the crowd, surviving humans, pretty much everyone camps up here. Right over here to the right, you have the pistol where it spawns and a couple grenades. That's why everyone over here usually just, you know, pistols it. And pistols are very good weapons. You know, pistoling it, that's what I say. But, uh, yeah, four dead stacked up bodies there, that's how good we are. But basically, a pistol spawns over here, you can grab ammo. Not everyone grabs ammo, but I'm an ammo freak. I'm, I always need to have ammo. And basically, over here, everyone just has uh, pistols. Usually over there, on the left side, I'm not really, I don't know why. It's a coincidence that I said left side when I was looking over there, I didn't plan that. Um, basically, over there, I wouldn't say they're the better players, but they're more of the risk takers. I'm not a risk taker, but they usually go back in those tunnels where the zombies are coming from, and usually you can go in there without them seeing you, that middle one with the two little shields. You can go in there. And basically just go back into the beginning of the map or somewhere around there and grab the green thing that shoots a big green thing So the fuel rod gun or the rocket launcher or the sniper and mainly over there is going to be snipers and over here is pistols But usually last man standing he uh, he has a rocket launcher or a fuel rod so Those are two things that you'll probably see the last man standing have so um almost halfway through here um Things are starting to pick up a little bit, I mean, sometimes zombies, 
if they come, you know, if there's only one of them, you're obviously not gonna get anywhere, which is why some people actually get mad if people block the doors. But if you think about it, I mean, there's a map called Battle Creek or Beaver Creek, and there's a new camping spot where everyone just goes up top. Well, I can't even get up there. You take the little ladder and get up to the little thing with the sniper. Then you jump on the side, and it's sort of like a glitch or something like that. It's not really a glitch, but you jump on to the little side thing that no one knew was there about two months ago. I think it started about a month and a half ago, or maybe two months ago. Everyone goes there now. And when there's only about five people left, and there's not people at the top waiting on the top of the ladder to shoot them as they're climbing up, when they're all at that little side spot, the zombies, I mean, one zombie climbs up, he gets to the top and stops until there's a big stack of them just going, hey, man, move. And when that guy moves, you have about 10 to maybe maybe even 11 zombies just charging at you, and that's probably the best strategy, and usually when that happens at any zombies map in Infection, things are kind of go down. So my basic uh, escape tactic is, you saw a little teleporter where I grabbed the overshield thing right there. I'm trying to figure out, but basically I'm going to go, and I'll show you guys, I'm going to do it. But uh, it's a pretty good strategy, I wouldn't say it's the most noble strategy, but it's definitely the uh, most worth it in the long run. So, um, I usually do it sometimes, usually I'll, I wait really long because it does get really hard when there's a lot of zombies over here. So um, I try to go over there as late as I can. Right now we have more zombies than humans, so things are starting to get a little fun. I wouldn't say they're starting to get hard, and usually over here when everyone starts firing their pistols, when they see a zombie, we all start firing at just about the same time. Not the exact same time, but around the same time. And if we don't kill the zombies that are coming, like if there's two of them or three of them, and one of them still alive and we're all reloading, two or three of us are going to die. So usually what I do, I'm that guy who sort of waits until they take a few shots at them, and uh, if there's three of them, then I'll start firing late. So when they're reloading, I still got a few shots in, Then when I'm reloading, they got a few shots. So it's a good cycle to sort of spread out the shots. So now we got three of them coming at us, still nothing they can do about it, because pistols are a very good gun in this game, believe it or not. Uh, definitely up there, my top five favorite guns. There's not that much guns in the game, but I definitely am a big fan of the pistol. Um, but yeah, so got some grenades over there. I'm kind of waiting until this place is going to clear out, and uh, I think it's about ready time to go. I think I waited until there was about five people left. So, yeah, we still got people dying. I think I had around 15 kills around there. Maybe 13, maybe 18, maybe more than that, I'm not sure. But yeah, one actually gets in, and that guy with the fuel rod gun, who went in there and grabbed it, and it's really worth it if you can go in there and grab it and come back, which probably you can, because if, if you can make it to the fuel rod gun, you're most likely gonna make it back, because that thing just, it can kill like three zombies. No, it can probably kill like almost all the zombies in a pack. Same thing with the rocket launcher. So right there I go to the teleporter, I back up into it, and what the thing you want to do, you're not going to watch where you're going, you're going to watch where you're not going, which basically means watch your back because there's going to be zombies. So basically all the zombies um, that are going over there, this isn't their spawn that I'm going to, but it's sort of our spawn. So we kind of went through the middle thing there. It's, it's really hard to explain, but if I ever do another gameplay of this map, then I'll definitely explain it a little better. But I'm going to go ahead and go around... Uh, the mountain, the mountain in the middle there. I'm watching my back to see if any zombies are coming. There it is, the red team spawn base, and zo and zombies actually come kind of check and see if there are actually humans back there, which to my surprise. But um, yeah, so I'm pretty sure we did about an hour of waiting here. I'm not sure, but there are no zombies, and usually if you don't see any zombies, you're in the clear. So uh, now all we gotta do is wait and wait and wait and wait and I guess while we're waiting I'm gonna go ahead and show the score um, I think we maxed out our score at 1350 which is kind of an idea of how long this took but I that's why I sped up the video so basically um, this is gonna be the series that I'm gonna be doing on every Friday so I really hope you guys will enjoy it um, something different than Pokemon I love Pokemon but you know, that's kind of why I switch channels so I can do other stuff too and I haven't done anything else than Pokemon and a few other games so basically, I'm just kind of looking out to see if any zombies are going to be coming. It's highly unlikely that any others are going to be coming, and basically all the other guys can die, and I can just be the last man standing because I hid, and then go out there with the same speed as they do and just wreck havoc. And there's only about two minutes left. Voice crack. There's only about two minutes left in the game, and that's very unlikely. The match doesn't take this long, and usually takes around five or ten minutes. 
And we're, oh my god, a zombie right there. So basically, I'm like, oh crap, how did this happen? And I know if any more zombies figure out about this, I'm gonna die. The radar is different in this game. It's not if you, it's not like Black Ops or any other FPSs. It's not if you shoot and you show up on their radar. You're always on their radar. So if any more zombies are checking back here and I'm gonna be dead. And I don't know why I'm shooting anybody who won't die. It doesn't even show the marker thing, so um Yeah, now I finally start getting a few shots, and right there you saw another zombie. Now I'm dealing with two zombies. I don't know why I took a hit and I lived, usually it only takes one, I throw a grenade, things are going really fast right now, that's why I can't stop talking, throw another grenade, and I'm like, alright, things are basically done for me, I go down, and that's pretty much the match. So, um, that's, yeah, I didn't really want to stick around that, I was really mad after that, but, um, I said I was in first for a few, a little bit, but I ended up finishing second, so... Almost last man standing, I guess that's what happens. I guess that guy, I don't even know where that guy went. Um, he probably just chilled up there until he was the very last one and then went. Which, if the more you can wait it out, I must say, the longer you wait it out, the longer your chances are going to be of surviving. So it's pretty much the best thing to do. Stay up there as long as you can. I want to bring you guys a different map. So if you guys know about the game, you can actually uh, just tell me or inbox me or add me on Skype and talk to me about it or any maps you guys want to see, go ahead and uh, leave them down below. Um, it's not up to me though, it's about the players and I must say, uh, the players usually, there are one or two maps or three maps that no one plays on and there are some maps that everyone plays on. And I, don't, I don't like a lot of maps in this game, I probably like three or four maps a lot. Especially for this game type, so I'll be seeing you guys next week on Friday. Hope you had a nice Friday. School sucks, I know, but you have a nice long weekend. So I'll be seeing you guys later. Thanks for watching Halo. And by the way, I hope you like the, dubs uh, the dubstep remix. Uh, I'm going to be trying to bring in cool music to back me. So, uh, yeah. See you guys later. Goodbye.